So we're here at the UK Monster Truck Nationals. Really, really love this show. Um, so it's the day before the show, the calm before the storm. Swamp Thing is nearly all ready. Just got to reset the shocks in the, sm in the morning. And of course I've got the oil tray underneath it. So we've got to do an oil change in the morning. But I can finally reveal. Game over. Kevin's truck. Look at this thing. A lot of you were trying to guess what the name is. If you'd have saw his very, very early video, you would have seen it had Game Over written on it. But it's Game Over with a wolf that's holding a piston in his mouth. So it looks really good. So I don't know if you can hear it, but in the background, they've got the music over on the music stage for all the people that are camping over. We're gonna head over there in a minute. But yeah, so we've got seven trucks, but look how wide this truck is compared to mine. So that's Kevin's truck, back uh, front axle, compared to mine. Look how much wider it is. This housing on this truck is 10 inches wider than Swamp Thing, and then his wheels are spaced out a little bit further as well to give this truck a hell of a stance. And if you can see, look at the angle the shocks are at. So that is gonna make it handle really well. If you compare it to my trucks, uh, uh, so I've got a 40 inch housing. If you see my shocks where they're mounted, they are almost vertical. Um, so it doesn't give it as much stability as Kevin's truck. Cause Kevin is the next generation of what my truck is. So mine's a, a Patrick chassis, and this is a current Monster Jam CRD chassis. But we got, a lot more monster trucks in the house we got Ian with his blaster monster truck believe it or not this truck is 12 years old you would never know it look how clean it is it is really really it... it really is a showpiece and I've got <laughs> One of my favorites, look at the size of this. We got Big Pete, I absolutely love that. That is a monster truck, not a monster pickup, a monster truck. And you see the, the Lucas Oil um, monster truck in America, that is a fiberglass body on a monster jam chassis. This is a true truck with a true truck chassis and an aluminum, so this body, Not fiberglass, that's aluminium and steel. It is absolutely amazing. Then we got, of course, we got Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper, um, for you, you know your history, it was originally an American monster truck, um, blown thunder when it was in the States. Then it came over to the UK. And then got Terry Grant. He's doing the show tomorrow. And then we got Putter from Sweden over with his Lambo truck. I'm not sure, I've got to be really careful. They've got the fun fair just behind me. I have to be really careful with the music. We know what YouTube feel about music. And All covered up for the moment. They do a thing in Sweden called Monster Race. Um, it's straight line racing over an, uh, a rhythm course. There's no cars in it. Um, it's quite a long course and the monster trucks get some serious height. And um, Pusser is one of the top trucks there. So, you right, Terry? Yeah, I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. He's always doing it, he's always on it. <laughs> he's an absolute sod. Uh, yeah. So Terry's got some of his cars out already. So he's got SVR Range Rover, uh, Nissan Juke, and of course the last monster truck in the racing, we got Podzilla. Podzilla is back, uh, lives at Santa Pod. But also, 
we got a speed van. We've got a speed van to do later on in the show, along with the bus. So we've got a bus in again and lots of caravans. But here, of course, this is the, the day before. It's getting late in the evening now. Just got to shut up the trailer and put everything to bed. And then we can go over and have a nice night over at the live action, over with everybody else who's camping here at Santa Pod. Okay, so there's a lot of people camping, and of course, ah, ah, Russ, the man behind the show. We found Russ in. Hello, Tony. How are you, mate? How Having a good? great night, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, what do you think to Queen? Oh. Is it the real one? It, you can't uh, really you can't really tell the difference. You can't tell the difference. No, 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 but it's no. certainly given us a good flavour to start a weekend off with a bang. Yeah, and it's awesome. Yeah, really good here. So if you've never been before, you can actually camp the day before the show. It's a great family show and a great family atmosphere. Certainly is. Can't wait till tomorrow. Are you ready, Tony? I'm ready. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's first outing in his truck. <laughs> how are you feeling, Dev? Um, don't know yet. You don't know <laughs> yet? You I'll don't know, you know how you feel? I'll let you know later when it's broken. I can't get it back in my workshop. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't say that. We can, always, <laughs> we can always bodge something together. But yeah, so it's just before pit party. We're all suited and booted. The banking is starting to fill up and we're ready for action. So we're all set for pit party. <laughs> Well, I love golf, to be fair, I've done a lot. Where? The Hummer driver is hiding. Right, you can't hide. Come on, let me have a little chat. Look at this. You see, it's not all about speed in the arena like this because we make it very difficult with the turns and the stacks. Uh, so you've got to really concentrate because otherwise you. Absolutely. We're delighted that you're here with us again this year. I hope you'll come back in the future as well. But Patrick, welcome to the UK. Welcome to credit to Tight Shore Trading. Thanks again for bringing me. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Have a great weekend. So at the show, we got this from the Blanksby family. Thank you very, very much, guys. Look what they sent us. So we got 
Um, this from a, a, little, a, a montage of pictures. I'm gonna put that up on the wall in the office. Got everybody who is at the show. Got all our little logos. All this is gonna go in the office, look. They knew it was gonna be a wall for the piston in his mouth. And also we got something we can put on the Christmas tree. Yay, thank you guys. Okay, so we've just finished the pit party. I've got to speak really loud because the music's on. Pit party was absolutely phenomenal. So many people came out to see us here at the Monster Truck Nationals. Kevin's just done his first sign of signatures. How's your fingers, Kev? How's your fingers after all the signing? It's falling off. It, it's a lot of signing, isn't it? You don't yeah. really appreciate how much. It's fun, though. It's, it's fun, 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 fun meeting them all, yeah. I go, it's time to get marked up, I think. We'll see you in a minute.
Sky Wheelie's call because when he hits the stack, all the driver sees is Sky. It's amazing. There we go. Round the turn tyre. Approaching the four stack again. Over it safely. Now he's going to go. Oh, we've had a stall. And we've got a restart. There we go. Oh, through we go. Front axle, three, two, one, Ah, something went bang, and I'm not sure. Well, there may be a little pressure problem, we just see what's going on there. Turn times is definitely a slow run for Blaster. Sure. Ah, now he's got something back. Good turn. 
to put the kill switch on. It looks like Big Pete's going to win the race. Dude, I almost had you. And the final race has been looked at. Safety is checked. Our officials have checked. And the new racing champion of Europe is Patrick Tembrock Lambo! I've got to have a word with Patrick. He's been so slow. <laughs> So difficult to get him here and to know that he's just took the title. Congratulations, the racing champion of 2022. How do you feel? Hey, I'm glad. Thank you for being here and doing the show for everyone here. I think he deserves some British hospitality. Where's your cheers? Listen to that crowd. I've got to also uh, say, Swampy had some problems, I don't know what it was at the start, but you were flying, Patrick. Yeah, I think, and now I must hit the gap and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you did. I don't think he touched a single car on the way back. He just went all the way. Uh, very well done. At the end of part two, we're going to be sending you back to Sweden with a very big trophy. Thank you, I see forward to that. Okay, we'll see you in freestyle. Okay, a round of applause, please, for Patrick Tembrock. Tony Dixon, a personal friend of mine for many, many years. Tony, come on, something went wrong on that start. What was it? The ignition switch fell down. Oh, no! You're joking, what, just cut you off? Yeah, just shut me off. Yeah, as soon as I hit the throttle, I accelerated really hard. It just dropped down. So I just put it up and then get it back into neutral before I can start it again. And I was just like... Well, I've lost this, but I'm not going to give it up for nothing. <laughs> I tell you what, you do realise you weren't far from catching him. Yeah, I knew I was catching him up, yeah. But, wow, well done to Patrick. I've known him for many, many years, and he's come a long way, so well done to Patrick. What a gentleman of the sport, Tony Dixon Swamp Thing! OK, so this is the bit you don't see. This is the mad thrash in between racing and freestyle. So we found out we've got a broken bolt. 
in the prop shaft so we, we do all the checks that's one of the last bolts we check so we got a broken bolt in there got a fuel it up ian and kev are going around their trucks making sure they haven't got any loose parts um truck lost in racing had the fastest qualifying times throughout the day um accelerated off the line as i accelerated i really accelerated hard believe it or not the ignition switch fell down which shut off the engine but the problem with the monster trucks is you just can't press the starter the starter has an interrupter in it so you have to be either in neutral or park to refire it so then i got on that worked out exactly what happened straight away flick the ignition switch up but the starter doesn't work so now i've got to get it back into neutral and then fire up the engine looked up <laughs> and uh, uh, um, put put her in lambo was already at the turn of, of the after the four cars when i took off but i thought i ain't gonna give up there's always a chance there's always a chance if you mess up that you can catch up and i nearly had him at the line i almost had him another another probably 10 meters and i think i would have got him but yes yeah, so got handed to him he's come a long way from sweden hell of a driver Okay, so what we're doing now, we're taking off my nice bonnet and we're putting on my sacrificial bonnet, just in case. Right, just in case we damage it on a caravan. So this one's got headlights in it. I'm not too worried about the bumper. I've got another bumper so we can put another bumper on. But I don't want to mess up my bonnet with the headlights, so we're going to change that quickly now. Do it. I thought it really struggled around that bend and it went, went around all right. I think you got the hang of it in the end. You was giving it a little blip. Oh, it's around that tyre. Oh, yeah, enough, yeah. Enough to upset yeah, that's what it. you were telling me. Just, just uh, jolt it around a bit. Jolt it around and it worked a treat. Yeah. <laughs> we're all setting up for a freestyle now. Oh, no, we've got to do the bus. We've got to do the bus. We've got to do the bus. <laughs> well done, though. Cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> They're just trying to get a little bit. It's really noisy out there. You've got Lee Bowers out at the moment on his um, on his drift bike, so it's got an extended swinging arm. Do a lot of stuff with Lee and Terry. Check out some of their stuff. It is awesome. Action! Here we go. <laughs>
just having a look around. Where's he going to go? That was eventful. It's got two wheels not pointing in the right direction. Um, so yeah, it didn't go so well today. We had two breakages. Um, and um, yeah, they're both the same thing, but on the other side, I had exactly the same problem. So I snapped this bit off of that bit, which meant the front wheels weren't attached and unable to steer anymore. Um, unfortunately, can't drive a monster truck like that. So uh, that finished our freestyle run. You have 90 seconds from the first obstacle, starting now.
exceptional control. What's he gonna do? He's lining up for the basket. Wow. I cannot get my breath.
we're coming under 48 seconds. <laughs> Nationals, and it now gives me great pleasure to ask you to receive from our sponsors CMG the race winner trophy giveaway this year. Look at that absolutely brilliant! And uh, please have a, have a picture. Jeremy, get in there as well, please. Absolutely brilliant, and I've got to have a quick chat with Jeremy as well. Um, <laughs> what a show, mate. Eh? Brilliant, absolutely outstanding. First time. Enjoyed yourself. Yeah, I think everybody has. Well, in with us, what more do you want? Absolutely. Thanks to the support. I said to you earlier, without CMG, means a lot to us. Thank you. Thanks very much. And if you'd now like to present our Free Soul Trophy and still the European. Race champion Swamp Thing! Look at that, Sunday next to the Swamp Thing! Wow! Yeah, and just before we decide whether or not we do the encore, this man, his first ever freestyle! A YouTube hero! This is Ketan Alert! Hey! Yeah, join us, mate. Ah, oh, amazing. Did you come back? Definitely. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. You're going to start, mate. Do they want me back? Do they want me back? I'll find out. Do we want Game Over back next year? Yay! Yeah. Listen to that crowd. That's what it's all about, mate. What a stage. And uh, thank you. That's all I'm going to say. Just stay here. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thank you for your show, Lord. Thanks for everyone for coming along. It was great having you, and can't wait to do it again. Brilliant stuff. Now, what we've got... Hey, the winner! What you probably aren't aware of, Mate. Santa Claus stores vehicles here for the I police. I think you popped it, I think. And I spotted earlier on... <laughs> a police camera van. Another speed camera van. Okay, so we've done a little bit of bendage on a four-link bar. Definitely caused by the bus. Shoo! a little bit of damage we haven't got no teeth left in it but we got plenty more teeth ready to go back on just got to put a bit more metal work in there and we'll be ready for the show on Tuesday at Yarmouth <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.
what, what are we saying? <laughs> I don't know. Did you enjoy your time? Oh, brilliant. I didn't want to break it and we accomplished no damage, no bent falling bars, no tumble wumble. No rest, is there? And um, it's the one bit and I think people quite enjoyed it actually. We've done a while for the first go. Yeah. So back next year. <laughs> the day after the show swamp thing is all loaded in the trailer now i've been over to the bus this morning and i've pinched some bits of tube so i can repair the bumper well, i didn't have enough tube in the bottom of my trailer small enough because we only carried like the bigger tubes um, to repair where the bumper got ripped off so in the arena now you've got digger johnny with his famous wave jcb he's picking up all the caravans and putting them in the big skips um the guys from cmg they're gonna come in and pick all the cars up and recycle them today and they came of course when we got to move out the bus but look how much devastation there is here Here is the step up to get on the bus. So it's, there's no mud wraps, it's just the crushed cars, but it is unbelievably strong inside the bus. Now, you can just see the roof has just started to bend, but this is after monster trucks have been driving over it. You can see the sections of steel that hold it up. So if you're ever in a bus and a monster truck goes over you, the windows are going to smash, but you're going to be okay. But we had a fantastic time here at Santa Pod at the UK Monster Truck Nationals. If you enjoy this video, make sure you check it out next year because it's always a sellout. But that's it for the end of this vlog. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye. Take me in the smoke.